Lancaster is a sanctuary city, but Lancaster County just became a non-sanctuary county. How's this going to work? Evan Papalis joins us live tonight. Evan. Alicia, City Council voted unanimously to stop cooperation with ICE, and now the county felt the need to make a move going against the city. Now commissioners are divided, and so is the public. It's a serious problem, and that's why we thought that it was important to do this. A two-to-one vote establishing Lancaster as a non-sanctuary county in a move that counters the city becoming a so-called sanctuary city. This is not a local county issue to address. There is no connection between uh, undocu undocumented immigrants um, and crime whatsoever. Commissioner Alice Yoder being the one to vote against the non-sanctuary county resolution, she views it as a federal issue. My main belief in uh, this particular resolution is that it's not within the authority of county commissioners. Crime being at the forefront of commissioners Josh Parsons and Ray Diagostino voting yes. You're seeing the White House now reaching out to sanctuary cities. That was in the news recently saying, don't do this, this is a bad idea. And at that same time, Lancaster City is taking the opposite course, which saying we're going to become the newest sanctuary city. Mayor Deneen Sirachi chimed in responding to the commissioner's move, saying, quote, I am glad to reassure the commissioners that the city will continue to follow all applicable laws and comply with federal immigration enforcement when required by law. Otherwise, we are leaving federal immigration enforcement to federal officials. The move three weeks ago is a step towards protecting undocumented immigrants, allowing them more access without fear or deportation after the city cut ties with its cooperation with ICE in most cases. We're talking a total different immigration than we've ever seen in the United States. And it's a shame that these people, that people policies in this resolution exploits these fears to garner support. I think what we're failing to understand here is there was a legal process that all of those immigrants went through. Concerns of folks spending thousands and thousands of dollars and waiting years to become legal citizens when others are coming right on in. I would like to be able to support illegal immigration, but it's an unsustainable model at this point. Lancaster County is not equipped to fix the world's problems. Now, neither the city nor the county have a say over, over the other. Issues will be resolved by law enforcement and immigration enforcement. In Lancaster, Evan Palace, ABC 27 News.